Hello everybody, today we're talking about the stages of the family life cycle. So thinking of the major milestones that families go through. So the first stage is couples with no children. So you have two people, they meet, they start dating, they fall in love, and eventually they get married. And so then as the newlywed couple, they start to start planning for their future. Um, they may buy a house, they start their career goals, and they start planning for a family of children and how many children they want and trying to get themselves to that place where they're ready to have kids. At this point, they get to, they can get to know each other really well. They can come and go as they please. There's not as much responsibility to have to worry about. If they decide, hey, let's go out to eat, they could pretty much get up and go. So as life progresses, you get to the to the stage where childbearing begins, and that's called the founding family, when the baby comes. So that couple has gotten to the point where they are ready for their first child, and they are looking at issues with pregnancy and labor and delivery. They are adjusting once the baby gets there to a new lifestyle. They now have a baby that's depending on them, so that lifestyle of being able to come and go as they please isn't quite as as easy anymore. They now have to make decisions. If I want to go out to eat, am I getting a babysitter? Do I have to pack up the diaper bag and everything that the baby needs to go for them to go with us? They have less sleep because the baby needs care in the middle of the night. Um, more money responsibilities when it comes to buying diapers and baby clothes and all the equipment that babies need. Um, they have to make decisions about childcare and working. And so there's a lot of adjustment that needs to be made in this, this founding family stage. Next, you have families with preschoolers. So your oldest child is getting older and they are entering preschool. So they're starting to be maybe a little more independent. They're starting to learn and starting to be more social. A lot of parents probably at the stage are having more children, the family's expanding, so maybe they're having more babies. Um, and depending on how, what size of family you want, maybe it's baby number two or three that is coming along at this point. And then you have families with school-aged children. So the oldest child now enters elementary school. They spend their day at school and then they come home with homework. So the parents now need to help the child with homework or make sure it gets done. Kids tend to become involved in more activities. So maybe they're in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or they're in Little League Soccer or Little League Baseball. And parents are running children to practice or games or picking them up and becoming a little bit more um, active in the community. As the kids get older, you're gonna have teenagers. So the families with teenager stage you have the parents are now have their children are wanting more independence. They're probably involved in more things at the high school level. They might be looking forward to driving. And so the parents are teaching the child to drive, making decisions about car insurance, what the child's going to drive, um, things like that. The launching family is when the children start to leave home. So you have your oldest child graduates from high school. They might go off to college and live in a dorm. Maybe they get a job and they get their own apartment. And you still have some children at home, but that process has started that kids are starting to grow up, become adults and leave the house. And then you have the empty nest. Once all the children have left the home, they have all moved out, gone to college, gotten jobs, whatever that might be or what that might look like for that child. And they might also be starting their own families. Maybe your oldest, the oldest child is now starting that life cycle on their own. And the parents have to make an adjustment because for at least the last 18 years, they've had children at home to watch and be responsible for and now those kids are on their own and they have to adjust to that new lifestyle. Um, a lot of parents too, they have been a family for so long with the kids that they might have to 
get to know themselves as a couple again and get they get to spend more time with each other and then the families with aging members so now the parents are older they are probably to that stage where they might be um, having health problems and so there's decisions that need to be made about can they live on their own do they need to go to nursing homes do they just need their children to come and help them so the children might be taking care of their parents they probably have children of their own and so now the children are taking care of their children but they're also taking care of their parents a little bit of a role reversal maybe an adjustment for the parents and children um, in that stage and so as we're thinking about the life cycle think about what you envision for your family in the future and how that life cycle looks for you i hope you guys have a good day and we'll talk a little bit more about the family life cycle um, throughout the class have a wonderful day and if you have any questions let me know